Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> okay, so this is a compilation of the most unique female voices in K-pop right now. Nice. And I think this is pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm guess. Not... I'm gonna guess. Okay. The girl from N Mix. I oh yeah, Lily. I think that's her name. She's very Lily? unique at the moment. She's uh, really cool. She's of, very good. Is this like fourth generation or is this? Like... I think it's a compilation. I see. The first one's Leah Itzy. Yeah. So let's I like have a look. I like them a lot. <laughs> I love that it says the age, that's really interesting too. She'll be intriguing if she... That's definitely not her style though, I must say, this might not be the most Representative, representative of, what of what she can do because this is definitely not her style and it feels out of her comfort zone it feels out of her natural abilities but there's more clips so let's get watching is hot. <laughs> yeah she's more of a pop singer yeah that's easy to recognize that's pretty cool that's Leah <laughs> that's good that's good Ryu Jin's one attractive woman, dude. Yeah, see, I like that's that. Better. That's a much better clip. That's easier to understand, and I think the first clip is just hard to put into perspective what her natural capabilities might be. Also, I don't think most people uh, understand to the depth. Understand. No, I don't think many people understand jazz to a great level of, like, great depth. Um, in it's terms hard. vocally, it's it's, a, it, it's one of the most uh, bizarre and tricky ones. Um, there's like the whole meme, right, of like, mm -hmm. oh, if it sounds kind of weird, it's jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Um, but there is some science to the madness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, it's a very difficult... I, I, I wouldn't... I Like, say that you're a great pop vocalist, I would never give you a jazz cover because it would be like, maybe, it's if you want to learn... Exactly, it's good to expose yourself to different genres and like explore new well, things. That shit gets millions your... and millions of views. Yeah, like, but to, to you show it... the best of you. Exactly, yeah. it's not a bad cover. Like, don't no. get it wrong. It's not, but it's definitely out of her comfort zone, and you can feel that uneasiness. And just that's is mad, bro. Just is just as hard. Okay, got okay, kiss. Oh, this is the baby sister group of Mama Moo. Oh fuck me! I and also her. that position and that posture, oh, yeah. for that, for especially for that high, high. Uh, uh, well, she's doing a falsetto, so it's not much of like, a, like a, a more comfortable, the better yeah. for falsettos. But damn, she is good. I like oh, she's that just that personality. Well you see like that. But yeah. I have to say this with with those type of like with her, she's also another good example of like um, she would be really good at like because uh, she seems to have uh, what would you call it. There was definitely uniqueness because that's the whole fucking point of the video. <laughs> but she seems to have a sound. Yes. Um, and uh, stylistically speaking, yeah, she yeah, has she, figured she, it out. She's I figured agree. it out really early on as well, mm -hmm. like twenty years. Yeah. Um, so those songs, like ballad wise, or, or, or uh, those kind of alternative edgy songs, she'll be fucking unreal. Yes. Or those I feel anyway. She's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is where I think she's shine. Six. Oh, Sugi. Sugi. 27, cool. Anyone in Red Velvet. That song is so hard, though. This is a good one. I love the show. <laughs> okay. Sha 
Shut up, she's 27. Yeah. Yeah, I think with Sugi, what's very, very intriguing, um, and I've never seen Red Velvet live, um, I am starting to become a bit more confident with sort of some of my opinions and stuff like that. The more you watch a lot of these girls and guys live, mm -hmm. um, but it's the same in, in person uh, because uh, lately we've been really privileged to go to and get invited to these type of events and not only be invited, but kind of have a look at the behind the scenes of stuff mm -hmm. and have a look at what the sound production, speak to the teams that kind of handle this stuff. And uh, so we know what kind of things are going on behind the background that perhaps some people that are in the crowd are not so aware of. And... Um, with Red Velvet, it's super really, it would be really interesting to have a look at their sort of set and also the production team because um, with Sugi, she's actually like, she isn't she like the main dancer or like the lead, yeah, yeah, dancer? Yeah, lead dancer? I still yeah. get confused on what the roles mean. Like lead dancer sometimes is different to lap, main dancer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is the main dancer yeah. of Red Velvet. Uh, so, and then she's the lead vocal. Um, so a lot of the time and the choreographies of Red Velvet sometimes are really demanding, especially if they are going to do like Sugi and, and the... That's right, Irene and Sugi stuff. Like if you look at those choreographies and those type of songs, they're actually quite vocally demanding. They go under the radar how vocally demanding they are, some of their work. Um, so live, you wouldn't expect her to have some of the most demanding sort of vocal lines mm -hmm. because she is essentially the main dancer. Um, so... I think the clips that do her the most justice are not the ones where they're actually fully performing, but the ones like the a cappella one, mm -hmm. where you can actually make a, what would you call it, a much more accurate evaluation of her um, vocal capability. Also, I think that lower range sulgi also expands better in a more performer approach, yeah. like more of like... They're all really approach. good. Red, Red Velvet, genuinely, bro. I mean, I know they're really fucking popular in the world, but I don't think uh, a lot of people realize how difficult it is to mm -hmm. be a five member group and have that level of singing yeah yeah yeah. it's um, terribly difficult it's ridiculous especially when it comes to like the whole uh, uh, compilation of aspects that happen yeah. that has to be on, 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 yeah. on the ground oh lehigh lehigh very unique life band eh? this is the this is her environment yeah. Yeah, also, this is such her style. Yeah. This is her style. Shout out to BC. I love this song. Hey, <laughs> look at her. Song one looking at her. Also, there's nothing better than sitting down in How this adorable step. she looks. Oh, Shut up. She looks beautiful. She's 23. She's 23? What? No, come on. She's I thought she was not. like, I don't know, 27. Not because she, I mean. She doesn't look No it. one can ever argue that that woman looks past 25. But it's just, I don't know. She has. Well, this was in 2020. So, so maybe she's 26, she's 25 20, now. 25. Oh, now. only a year older than me. Wow. Uh, okay, so we saw her life cool. at MIK. Yes, we um, did. I would say that M.I.K., given the fact that it was so hip-hop forward and stuff <laughs> like that, it probably made her a bit nervous in that sense. You could tell, like, when she was approaching the crowd and speaking, um, that she doesn't really have that many hardcore hip-hop. Like, she performed after Epic High, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it it's like, big. everyone's hyped up, and then she's gonna bring what Lehigh brings, which no one cared. Everyone was there for that. Everybody was crying but, but I think she was, out. My guess is I think she was a bit nervous, um, mm. and maybe she wanted, she didn't want to disappoint anyone. Also, it's difficult. It's super hard to stand there in this big, huge stage alone. after alone, no with no band, just your DJ, and it's it's quite difficult. It's quite an intimidating ex experience, especially if you already have doubts about what type of genre you're bringing to the table, yeah. what you're capable she just, of doing. She just felt like she was a bit unsure that the crowd was going to be receptive to her, yeah. which they all were. Everyone loves incredible. her. It was incredible. Everybody was bawling their eyes out. But in those life. first couple of numbers, you could tell there was lots of nerves at play. There was lots of uh, vocal... Uh, Unsettling. Yeah. And then she settled it as, as the, as the uh, set progressed. Her best yeah. number, actually, was that collaboration at the end. She oh, did yeah. with uh, Loco Gray and, Loco. and Gray. Mm -hmm. And she really settled and grew and vocal wise you can tell that uniqueness kind of coming through. Again, I just think you had to do a lot with just being yeah. on stage she was by yourself. Good. She was Definitely. awesome and she looked incredible. A really enjoyable 40 minute set. Like it was yeah. vibes when she was coming on. We were having like a picnic and stuff. It was yeah. really nice. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. She really did good. But that's her world. 
いろんな読みを字幕。That's a good video. Yeah, I see that actual audio. I, I would love to pay to see her in, in this, this environment. environment. I agree. For an hour or two. She's very impressive. Yeah. Ji Woon, she's so cool though. I know that she's like a main rapper, but she is cool. She's a rapper? Yeah.、And、oh, that's true. She's a card. She's like a rapper. But I think she proved her case at Queendom when she participated. Wow, because she's making really, really good choices. Yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah. She's so good. Singing is hard as fuck. I'm telling you, she's really great. And I think people started to appreciate what she was really capable of after、Queendom. going to Queendom. Awesome. Like, at, like a few years ago, like three years ago, something、mm. like that. She's on that, man. Yeah. But if you want the peculiarities, this is it, you know? It's edgy enough. No, my audio was raw as fuck. That was raw. That was a radio setting, by the way. Levels, dude. Because in、Big、those in、it. those performances, in those Queen Queendom performances,、um, there is how can I say this?、Uh, there's like the zero fat、uh, in in those performances. Yes, it's, it's just lean, like it's yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean?、Yes. I don't know if even that makes sense. It does in my head. It does I don't know if it does to other people? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, it's like zero percent fat in there. Like the zero percent <laughs> fluff. Yeah, 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 it's just muscle. It's just straight to what you came for,、yeah, like、right. straight to the concept, straight to the vocals. What? Whoever carried the concept the best, because、yeah. that's the thing about the Quindam, right? They they challenge each each yeah. week to yeah. like put up like a whole different concept and whatever.、Um, but it's pretty sick. I think I like her vocal mannerisms too, because they they seem to be very stable at what they're good at,、mm. you know. And she is able to replicate those things on demand under really high pressure environments, and that speaks for. That's something we haven't、uh, said enough. This is a high pressure environment. Oh,、right? these are、That、terribly hard places. Performance. This was hard though. This was hard because when I first heard this, I was like, "Oh, that kind of sounds like Rosé, but it doesn't have the same mannerisms because he's the mask singer."、Mm. And I was like, "Ooh, but it does, but it doesn't." And I was really confused for a really long time. Yeah, here it was then, hard to guess, yeah. Yeah. But she definitely. That was probably one of her strongest performances, I'd say as well, which was、yeah. really ironic that、um, it was like in a show like the Mask Singer, because I think Blackpink are coming back with Born Pink, right, with the album. I think when they do start touring, um, I hope that they give Rosé a, a space with like, a guitarist, acoustic set, three songs,、yeah. just let everyone settle down,、yeah. have a snack, have a drink, enjoy Rosé's voice for a bit, because you need that kind of settled, settled environment and 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 relaxed environment to、uh, for her to perform at this level. Yeah, I agree.、Um, I agree.、Yeah. It's like this、and、one. It, a moment、yeah. like this. In this. <laughs> no, Ooh, okay. Let, there, you there. 
you hear Ew. that bro say all the way like that was really cool that 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 very recognizable yeah. part there but that that specific that specific first ballad that we heard from the mass singer she was pulling back in all her natural mannerisms just to confuse people into thinking it's somebody sure. else but <laughs> yeah but that's hard that's actually genuinely very difficult mm-hmm. She looks like the sweetest girl. <laughs> That's, this was also incredibly strong. Coming. Well, what the fuck? Hold on a second. She called, she did a song with Gummy? Like, yeah, she, they well, did like a uh, show? Uh, yes, I actually tried to watch. It was KBS, so we actually tried to watch that ages ago. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just didn't make it out, so that's that. Yeah. Hmm? Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. Kanye. From Exit, yeah. That's class. Only you have a magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. I can hear the sound of violence. Yeah! She's really settled into that. Wow, and she's live everywhere. Also, the vo- the freaking choices of songs to do in the shows are so hard. Bro, honey. Like, oh my god. Honey has really settled into that I sound. I didn't know this. No, so me real. neither. It's interesting always to me what people find impressive. Oh yeah. Mm. See, boss, because this is why I say that. The previous singing phrase was the most impressive section to me. Yeah, I agree. The falsetto line, it probably was most impressive to most people. Correct. I right? think so, yeah. And that to me is like, oh damn, okay. Fair Ooh, enough. Fine, Boom, fine, my, my sandwichito. Yeah, she's really settled into that uniqueness. So for a second, it's JYP. So did I. Yeah, number no. one. Numero uno. Oh, of course, yes, 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 yes. But she's perfect. Actually, I never, I never really... Um, Perfect for jazz. I, I know, obviously, Huasa obviously would be one of, uh, like, a dream guest for the podcast. But <laughs> if, if I ever had a question for her, it would actually be that. Like, um, what's, what's your background in terms of the music uh, that you were singing to first? Mm-hmm. Uh, because she's obviously very stylized. She's very... Uh, uh, she honed in on her R&B soul vibe and, and sound. Um, but I do wonder if she has perhaps a background in jazz or 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 yeah, soul she music grew up or blues. Listening to some of it, I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, because, because she's this style. You don't just come. I have a nice voice, velvety voice. I can do then, this. So no, 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 it's no. not. It doesn't naturally no. come that way. It, you have to be exposed to the genre, yeah. like to also understand what you can do with that velvety voice. Yeah, you yeah. know. This is also like a radio show. Oh, I want Christmas. Woo, girl! Wow, man, it's just level. <laughs> yeah, I know, literally, bro. Ah, that was in the birthday party thing. People. The JYP. Party JYP. That's the queen thing. 
Oh my god, that's insane. Who oh, asked that, bro? That was the last from uh, One week. You see, Woo, those woo, takes are choice. blues takes. Yeah, they those are. are blues choices. They are. I've, they're not jazzy choices. They're, they're blues. blues. Um, yeah, I agree. I've never actually realized that until now. I think so too. Ooh, what? Interesting. Girl, listen to that. <laughs> I love Bro, Korean crowds are the best the when they do the Whoa, you know you it's did some shit It's the best because we were at MIK and we had a group of Korean people sitting like right behind us And the whole time they, they were just like, you know, oh. it's like, whoa! Oh, oh. oh, oh. And then... Chua, chua. Yeah, yeah, and, and we were like... <laughs> and we were like, oh my god, That's how you know, best. that that was some shit of whatever he said in Korea, whatever the artist said in Korea. That was like, cool. Yeah, yeah. And they were so nice sometimes, they would sort of translate, so we yeah, yeah, understand. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious, we made friends, and I like, uh, I They were awesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they sat there the whole day. The whole time. There, there wasn't seats available, it was, it's just a festival, so that it's just standing up and, you know, sort of survive. <laughs> <laughs> survival of the fittest. Yeah, it really the is. Fittest. But really, we found really we found like a table and stuff, and we just we didn't hog it, but we shared it with other people yeah. and stuff, and we made some mates and stuff like that in, along the way. But we we didn't stand <laughs> up the whole day because if not, we would have passed out. I, I don't even know how people in the in the, the VIP th section, which it, to be fair, if you like sitting down, it might have not been for you because you were standing up all day from 12 to 12, basically. Yeah, it was crazy. It was um, mad. And the energy was so high right from the beginning. I just want to make you feel okay. But all you do is look the other way. Come on! Mad. Well, let's see, awesome. go in the comments and see what people say in terms of like what they think their um their, their most unique voice can be. Rose, Huasa. I think Wendy from Red Velvet probably should have been here. Uh <laughs> look at that person. Rose, <laughs> soft unique, Huasa, Husky unique, edit. What the mom? I am famous now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mom! I'm famous. Uh, Sugi, Sugi, Rose, Mini, Yuki. Yuki from G, G yeah. Idol, yeah. Liha, yeah, that's true. I go away. Uh Totally agree, Huasa, Huasa, Sugi. Lehigh genuinely is very, very unique. I agree um, with that. Rose, I think she's very unique. And the <laughs> funny she's really recognizable. I think that's the thing about Rose. Like, it doesn't matter where you're hearing her voice, you'll be able to, to recognize, recognize her straight away. That's right. And I, I, I think it's a combination of that Aussie twang with the Korean uh, 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 modulation in her larynx I that think, creates such a cool congeal thing. I think also, as she commented in the documentary she was making sort of learning to write and learning to be comfortable in the studio and things like that i think also the music that she was listening to and being exposed to really encapsulates who she is and what her sound is mm. um so it's anyways. something very personal though and I, right. I like that about yeah. her let us know what you guys thought about it and the goodbye <laughs>